Your name? Uh, my name is Joanne Kuniansky and I was the Communist League's candidate for the seat of Parramatta in the New South Wales state elections in Australia. What are you doing here? Um, I'm joining with workers around the world to protest against President Obama's executive order declaring a national emergency with respect to the unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security and foreign policy of the United States posed by the situation in Venezuela. Uh, we want this revoked, we want all sanctions dropped against Venezuela, and we're here to join with others demanding hands off Venezuela and to um, defend Venezuela's sovereignty. Um, Washington's foreign policy grows out of its domestic policy to make workers pay so the U.S. rulers can maintain their capitalist system and their profits. We agree with the Cuban government, which said last week nobody has the right to intervene in the internal affairs of a sovereign state. Just like Cuba was never alone, Venezuela won't be either. Washington wants its economic and political pressure and threats of further sanctions to exacerbate the deepening economic crisis in Venezuela, hoping that they can overturn the government of Nicolas Maduro and end its collaboration with Cuba. The U.S. rulers have proven time and time again that they don't respect Venezuela's or any other country's sovereignty. Cuban Foreign Minister Bruno Rodriguez, on the eve of an emergency meeting of the Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America, in response to Washington's threats, hit the nail on the head when he declared that the time for the U.S. to treat Latin America like its backyard has ended. We agree with that wholeheartedly and join with others around the world to demand hands-off Venezuela and hands-off Cuba. Thank you.